I got this at an auction about 15 years ago. I did pay in the range of $350 for it. I collected uh, Tiffany and I never ran across a pottery. Um, uh, mainly it was either Tiffany silver. As soon as I found that um, Tiffany pottery, uh, I felt it was one of the rarest things that Tiffany would uh, be making like his artwork. He's primarily known for his fancy lamps mm -hmm. and his beautiful right. windows and, mm -hmm. and some enamels and his, mm -hmm. of course his blown glass vases. Mm -hmm. Pottery was something, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, is right. rare. It was made primarily initially for mm -hmm. basis for his shades. What I look for in a piece is, stylistically, is it what the maker was known for? And there are things about this piece that are typical of some of Tiffany's work, but there are things mm -hmm. about it that aren't typical of all of Tiffany's work. Mm -hmm. For example, Tiffany was an Art Nouveau guy, mm -hmm. and this modeled floral design, this is more French Victorian than American Art Nouveau. Hmm. The way this background is scored is also typical of French work from about two decades earlier. Hmm. And so that struck me as odd. There are things that are Tiffany like it, this flambe glaze on the interior, the way it's dripping on the side, that is more uh, in line with what we know of as far as what Tiffany was pursuing in his ceramic works. Hmm. So then the next thing we look at is the mark, and this has everything on it. It's got the LCT, which is Louis Comfort Tiffany. It's got the Favreal pottery, Favreal means handmade on the side. But the mark too, while it has all the bells and whistles of Louis Comfort Tiffany's mark, it's not the mark we normally see. And then mm. the main thing for me is the clay itself. If we see in the foot ring, the clay is brown, and Tiffany clay was white. So I, I did get a second opinion here because it's it's so extravagant in its in its trying to be Tiffany, but it's not. Would that be the white that you were talking the about? White that he is did? actually a color added to this brown oh. pottery, oh. and then the mark is put over it so you can see it. So it's Some, not a white base. It's not a white base. It's just white to show the mark off better. And uh, also, the mark is always incised. I've never seen an LCT painted on the bottom of the piece. It's always it's indented. Cut, it's cut, cut into in. the piece, okay. into the mm. wet clay with wow. a sharp tool. Mm. And then the uh, the rest of the marks are either scratched in or penciled in, not mm. painted on like that. Okay. So somebody took a lot of trouble, and I've seen a fair amount of Tiffany that was fraudulent. But it's usually another type of pottery that's similar to what Tiffany did that somebody scratched a mark into. Mm -hmm. This one's unusual because I think somebody made this from scratch and made a, a Tiffany fake piece from scratch. Mm. If somebody believed it was really Tiffany today, mm. this would be a two or $3,000 piece of pottery. Purely for decorative value, perhaps it's worth $25. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really has retail value because of the mark on the bottom. Maybe after you scratch it off, it'll be worth something. Yeah. Well, and guess what I'm gonna do to this? Scratch through it? In a way, I'm okay with the, the last person owning it and the last person that's gonna change it, and I, I will destroy that little emblem on it. Uh,